Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a quick look at Qfeed here. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with this game already, it's a very popular indie title. Um, but you know, if you're not, basically it's a Mega Man boss rush sort of game with a 1930s cartoon aesthetic. It's pretty cool. Um, I've played it before, I have the version on um, GOG. So I've played, I think, the first, like, third of the game, maybe? Or the first quarter? I'm not sure how long it is, because I haven't played further than that. But, yeah, um, the Switch version had a decent little discount recently, so I thought I'd pick it up and have a look and see if it's good. I assume it's more or less the same game, but, you know, nice to have the Switch version. Um, yeah. Uh, but speaking of Switch versions of stuff, uh, there is a demo for Ukulele and the Impossible that impossible there right now, so if you haven't played that yet, I would suggest checking out the demo because it's really good in my opinion. I like that game a lot. Anyway, uh, we're gonna look at Q feed here. Uh, so yeah, um, it's got some nice uh, film grain effects. I think you can switch most of these off, but the opening cutscene maybe not. I don't really remember. Well, Cuphead and his pal Bug Man, they like to roll the dice. There they are. <laughs> Press L and R buttons. Okay, so we've got some options. Uh, I can mess with the volume. I can change my overscan. Oh, I see, it makes the screen a bit smaller. Defaults are probably fine. It looks like you can't actually turn off the film grain effect. I thought you could. So that's interesting. Controls. Lots of options there. If you wanted to mess with everything, there's also achievements. None of which I have yet, because I've just started. Uh, let's go. Uh... This file will do. I guess I'll play as Q-Feed, there we go. I don't think it makes any difference which character you pick, it's just like, slightly your, your appearance or whatever. I suppose this is a loading screen of sorts, with all the flickering going on here. Don't deal with the devil. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Qfeed and Mugman. They looked without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks to enter the Devil's Casino. <gasps> oh no! Inside, Qfeed and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Q-Feed, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Q-Feed, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger. But it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister, Q-Feed added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Qfeed and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Qfeed. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. So that's the intro, and there we go, we've got an actual loading thing with a happy little hourglass there. Oh, wow. Look at that 
What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Okay, so now we can move around a bit. We can also jump. Uh, let's flip around. Uh, we can also press Y to shoot. Uh, just keep shooting forever. I believe that's what the potion did. It gave us shooting abilities. And yeah, you can shoot in a couple of different directions. I don't think there's any reason to use the analog stick over the D-pad because it's, it's completely digital. Uh, X button dashes like this. We'll see what that does later. Uh, well, I mean, we will, in a, we will right now because we're about to go to the tutorial with the A button. <laughs> tutorial, tutorial. Could have sworn this would have turned off the film grain. Hold down to crouch. Yep, easy peasy. Jump, tap for short, hold for high jump. Yeah, it, it goes a bit higher if you hold it down, yeah. Dash, X, quick evade on ground or in the air. Down and B, descent, and drop down from certain platforms. A lot of games work that way. Shoot, Y button, hold for rapid fire. R button to lock, hold to stay in place, eight way aiming. So yeah, you can shoot like directly downwards and stuff like that. Parry slap. Press jump while airborne to nullify or interact with pink objects. This also builds your super meter. So you can see it like puts a little bit of a pink swirl around you when you do that. So it lets you double jump and things like that. And also lets you block attacks and things. Revive your dead power with a well-timed parry on the ghost. Two player mode only. Yay! Did that work? <laughs> EX move. An upgraded attack that requires one super meter card. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see those five cards. So yeah, let's just shoot out a better attack, but you don't get to use a lot of them. Coins to purchase items from the shop. ka -ching! And exit. That's the tutorial. Not much to it, really. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. As I mentioned, it's it's similar to Mega Man. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of complexity to it. You also don't really get, like, the character's weapons when you beat them like in Mega Man, so that doesn't really change much. Uh, right stick does absolutely nothing. Uh, the R button does what we saw earlier. The uh, ZR button doesn't count as the same button, so it's just R. Exit. Okay, so that's the tutorial done. Um, let's let it load the first area for us. So yeah, you get a little top-down map here for wandering around with. You can press X to equip. So you can upgrade your items as you get better stuff, but they're mostly like side grades rather than upgrades necessarily, I believe. Uh, we'll see when we get some more stuff. Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting, but now I prefer to stroll it around and go into the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. You received three gold coins. Thank you, Apple. Here's the shop. Pork Rinds Emporium. Let's have a look at what they've got in here. So yeah, you can see these upgrades are more like side grades, like this one gives you an extra hit point but weakens your attack power, uh, spread is short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target, so it, just, it reduces your range, things like that. Uh, that one sounds good actually, you will not take damage during a dash, a great defense maneuver. Uh, great coverage with average damage, aim backward for maximum range, interesting. We have four coins, so we could buy any one of these. I might get the smoke bomb. 
Oh, automatic parry. That sounds good. That amount of coins now, so... Thanks, pork rind. So yeah, you, you can see mostly it's not really upgrades, it's it's side grades. Weapons that do things a little differently, but aren't necessarily better than your base weapon. You've got to equip those new patches if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. I'm trying to do his voice, but it's really hard. <laughs> uh, I think that was a charm I just got. Yeah, there it is, smoke bomb. So yeah, you can only have one charm equipped, so I can't get the smoke bomb and the insta parry thing I looked at a moment ago. Uh, this is a level, I think? Forest, forest Follies. Yeah, so these run and gun levels, there aren't many of them, uh, but they're just a way to get some more coins, basically. Uh, the real stuff you're looking for is stuff like this, Ruse of news here, which is an actual, like, boss battle. Um, and yeah, you have to do the boss battles to unlock more stuff, basically. I think I can squeeze around here. Yeah, there we go. That gets me to Treetop Trouble, which is the other running gun level here. What are you looking at? My chip? Ha! Huh. It's not my fault, I've been busy fighting off those casino debtors. Now I gotta save up to have my blade fixed. So help me, I wish someone would bust that King Dice one. Over here we have Floral Fury. This one I think is my favourite of the first island, because of, mostly because of the music, I really like it. So I might do this one first. <laughs> Hagni Carnation in Floral Fury. So yeah, the boss the boss's name is Cagni Carnation. The boss battle is called Floral Fury. Uh, you can play on simple difficulty or regular. I guess I'll go regular. But I might not go so well. We'll see how we do. <laughs> Could have sworn there was a way to turn off the film grain. Maybe you can only do it once you're in game. This match will get red hot. So yeah, um, you don't really get a health bar for your enemies, uh, but you just want to keep shooting at them as much as possible, basically. And dodging everything they do, because you do not have very much health. Ah! Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing well at all. <laughs> See, not doing well. See, when you actually, yeah, when, when you actually die, it shows you how far into the fight you got. You want to get the little cup all the way across to the flag over there. So yeah, <laughs> let's get another try. Ah! Yeah, I don't really know how to predict Cagney's moves yet, so. I'm going to take a lot of hits until I've quite figured out how to do this fight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, you get different quotes from the boss depending on how far you are in you are when you die. Uh, I've got the same one twice because I was at about the same spot. <laughs> yeah, the music in this game is very good. I do already have the soundtrack on my phone as a thing to listen to every now and then. <laughs> it actually came with the GOG version, so that was pretty cool. GOG, GOG, whatever. And yeah, the boss is now going into a tougher mode because they've got it to a certain amount of damage. As you might be familiar with if you've seen bosses before. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, you can see I was a lot closer. Oh my goodness. A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. <laughs> I haven't really cut any flat no cards yet, that's why the A button can't do anything. Alright, I forgot <laughs> how that works.
Ngã Ngã Okay, this one's going a lot worse <laughs> the wrong spot. That was not good. You could shoot the little thingies as they fall down, but you can't for whatever reason. Ah. And yeah, it's really it's basically impossible to heal during a battle, so three health is all you get. <laughs> or four if you get the thing that gives you four, but you know it's makes you do less damage, so... Trade-offs! to get to the last stage. I'm really close, but uh it's just hard. Yeah, kind of wish you, you could just like have shooting happen automatically without holding a button, because you always want to be shooting. <laughs> feels like feels like that would fit in this game. Is that like an auto shoot option? Doesn't look like it. Hmm, interesting. There are a lot of options here, as you can see. player mode you can respawn the other player. I wonder how much easier that makes things. I guess a lot. <laughs> hmm. I've never tried playing this two player, so. I can parry these. I just thought of that. <laughs> Maybe, but I didn't manage to do it, so I just took a bunch of damage instead. My goodness. Good 
Hmm, I don't think I can parry them. Doesn't look like it. And I, I think you can only parry pink things. So some of them were pink, so maybe I can parry those. This match will get red hot. You're up. And they're purple. I don't know if that's close enough. Oh, that one was pink, but it didn't, didn't do anything. Ah! <laughs> yeah, this game is hard. Okay, I can parry the little bullet that thing shoots out. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. I feel like I should be able to parry that pink one, but I haven't been able to time it right, or possibly it just isn't doable. It's hard to tell. Dashed. <sighs> yeah, this is a hard game. A is and it's also a really stylish game, though. I mean, this, these visuals are really great. Ugh. That's not a good start. Yeah, I feel like this, is, this isn't a good game for me to record just because I'm not that good at it. So it'll take a really long time and I don't have much to say. Um, you know, if, if you do want to see me play more of it, I will, but I, I, I feel like it's not something I can record very well. <laughs> at least not without cutting out a whole bunch of deaths, but I don't really tend to do that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to if I'm going to be recording this. I don't know. Let me know what you think.
Okay, but the final phase, I still have full health, so we're doing okay. Oh! Of course, I immediately took a hit when I said that. Ah. Oh, dang it! I was trying to use the, um... X attack, but instead I walked forward? I don't know why, I didn't press X, I pressed A. <sighs> Whatever. That was really close. I think I can pull it off. I probably won't do any more bosses, but I might have a look at one of the run and gun levels, just to give you an idea of the other stuff that's in the game. Oh, well, that's a minor part. Oh my goodness, this isn't going well. Oh, dang it. I immediately messed up. Mm. Yeah, this is not going well at all. Well, I managed to get to this phase, so that's something. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Went too close. It went too close. Oh, what? Oh, dang it. Look how close I was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think this game is a good thing for me to record because I just don't have a lot to say. <laughs> um, I don't know. Definitely let me know what you think. Um, because I will record more of this if you want to see more of this. It's just, I'm not sure it'll be something people want to see more of. Just because of the way it is. When I play this game, <laughs> gotta sort of focus a lot. Uh, and now that I'm trying to talk about it, like you can see, I'm taking a lot of hits really easily instead of surviving. <laughs> Which sort of demonstrates my point, really. Uh, this game is real hard. Is that a slipper? Looks like a slipper. Like a, like a bunny slipper?
like black chompers need to be defeated like they don't really do much to attack you apart from exist i don't think they move or anything uh but the other two kinds obviously do because they follow you around and spit pollen in your direction that kind of thing dashed into the part they were spiking. So I can restart. <laughs> oh my goodness. goodness so yeah you, you get you get the gist of this game probably and you can see why I feel like it's probably not something I should be recording because yeah I've been on the same battle for roughly 20 minutes and it hasn't really changed that much in all that time <laughs> I feel like that might not be too interesting to watch just because I don't really have a whole lot to talk about Ah. I knew that was coming. I didn't know how to dodge it properly. turn off the film brain effect in some versions, so it's interesting that I can't find that option on this one. I mean, you probably want to leave it on because it's authentic, but, like, it, it fits the whole game aesthetic, but, you know, you might want to switch it off if you want it to look different. I don't know. And it's weird that you can't, <laughs> regardless, because it should be something you can do.
Okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Anyway, you can see how this music is really, really good. A every boss has unique music, and they're all really good. <laughs> oh my goodness. This stage is a lot harder, but fortunately it's pretty short. Close I was. Oh. I can do this. I can do this. Ah. Okay, I shouldn't be taking hits this early, that's not good. Dodge the slipper. I think it's a slipper. That's what it looks like. I just don't get what that has to do with the flower. <laughs> Because all the other attacks are like different kinds of plants with weird teeth and stuff, but that particular one is not. Ah. I did it! Yes! 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 <laughs> So yeah, as soon as you beat the boss, you instantly win even if they're about to attack you, which is good. I bet that was really bad. What was my time? One minute 17. That's okay. B minus. Could be worse. My HP bonus wasn't great and my parry was awful. <laughs> I assume the more things you parry, the better your parry bonus is. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the bosses in Q-Feed. Beating it gives you some access to different areas, and you got the Cagney Carnation Soul Contract. Yay! I think you can replay bosses if you want. Yeah, but you don't need to. There's, like, not a reason to do it. So yeah, you can come down here. Uh, this is, uh, the King... King Dice... The Die House, that's it. The Die House you can come to and talk to King Dice if you want. You can see if I'm there on one of the five I need to do here. Mr. King Dice, also, this song has lyrics. I never play nice. I'm the devil's right hand man. I can't, I can't let, let you pass. You pass cause, cause you ain't done, done everything. Bring me those contracts. Come on, bring them to, the, to king. the king. If you haven't yeah, been finished up, haven't, haven't worked, worked assiduously. assiduously. <laughs> yeah, it's a great song. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I've done one boss, I guess. Yeah, I might spend a few minutes looking at one of the run and gun levels. Uh, the one over here is probably a bit easier. I think they're a weaker part of the game compared to the actual bosses. Just because they're, you know, like a, a long sort of level thing and the health system isn't any different. There's basically no way to heal. You have three hit HP for the whole, like, platforming level. It's it's not great. It's on. And yeah, there's just, there's basically the reason to do this is that there are about five coins, or exactly five coins, to be more correct, in each of those levels that you can get.
But yeah, you get the idea. These levels... They're okay, I guess, but I think they're a lot weaker than the bosses in terms of gameplay. And yeah, you have to go through the whole thing at, one, at once, just like the other levels. There's no checkpoints or anything, as far as I know. But this is, in fact, how you get coins, which you need, because you buy upgrades with them. Although, since they're side grades, you don't necessarily really need them. The base, the base items will work for every boss in the game, as far as I know. So the little pop effect actually obscures projectiles and stuff, which I don't think is ideal. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not great. And yeah, pink things you can parry. Uh, so these little spike balls are pink, so you can do the parry effect to them by pressing jump in midair. Which you need to do there because it basically gives you a double jump to reach that coin. Where's the machine all the acorns are coming from? The acorn maker. <laughs> close I was to the end. See, see, these are annoying because they're a lot longer and they, sh they could just like, I mean, I guess in terms of gameplay length they're about the same as the bosses, but it doesn't make as much sense to have no checkpoints in something like this, I think. Whereas an actual boss, like, it sort of makes sense if the boss defeats you, you go try again from the beginning. Spike balls I'm trying to jump off of. Sonic. <laughs> Freaking hedgehog. Oh my god. I got hedgehogged. <laughs> but yeah, these are no easier. These are also really hard. <laughs> oh, they're also completely optional. Like, Unlike the bosses, where you have to do all the bosses in an area to advance, these are not checked at all. So you don't have to do the run and gun area if you don't want to, but... If you want to get all the coins, you do have to do them, because that's where they are. <laughs>
I don't know if you can replay a level for more coins. I feel like the answer is probably no. I think it's a strictly finite number of coins in the game. But yeah, I don't really want to replay them because it's not as much fun as, as playing the rest of the game. So yeah. <laughs> Ah, the acorns from the acorn machine! That's roughly, I think it's a little bit longer, but roughly the same length. A brand new record. Thanks, Kufeed. But yeah, that's that's this game. Um, I hope you get the general gist of it. Um, I've only really looked at one boss. I might take a quick look at another one, but not necessarily beat them, just so you get an idea uh, of how they might vary a bit. Yeah, I might do this one just once or twice. The root pack in Botanic Panic. I won't actually beat these guys because I know that'll take me like another 20 minutes, but I'll, I'll have a look and you can see what they're like just so you have an idea of, of what another boss might be. Well, this one's kind of similar. It's also vegetables. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is hard. <laughs> I'll give it one more go and then I'm going to call it for this video, I think. I think it's supposed to parry the worms because they're pink, but I can't time it right. Timing for parrying is really hard. Oh no, it's a carrot! Sending hypno carrots after me! So yeah, you, you, you get the basic idea. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's probably it for this video, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, I hope this gave you an idea of what Q-Feed is like. Um, played a couple of bosses, played a run and gun level, uh, took a look at the shop, you can buy some cool stuff in the shop if you want. Um, you can see um, beating stuff changes the world around, so we've got a bridge here now. 
Uh, I don't think that bridge is required, though. Oh, you do have to get- you do need to get to here, so maybe there's another way to get the bridge? I don't know. Be gone, spirits! Oh wait, you're real. I was just about to hit you with the old parry move. That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, would you fellas mind moving on? Spooking the fish. Ma'am, you are a fish. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure there's a way to get over here without doing that first level, but I don't think you need to go over there. The mausoleum doesn't count as a boss, and that's this thing over here, so... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, these trees are a boss, and that gives you, a, oh, I think, a staircase up here when you do it. But you can also squeeze around here, which I did earlier. I thought you get to here faster, if you want to. Uh, I think maybe you get some stairs here when you do something in the area, but I forget what. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's about all I'm doing for this video, so yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I got to feed a boss, and I got find a shortcut. Nice. I haven't done 20 parries yet. 100 parries, good lord. Defeat a boss with an extra special move, jeez, that's a tricky because you don't know when the bosses are going to be defeated. Hmm. Wow, these are tricky. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Beat the game with various difficulties. I don't think I picked a difficulty at the start. Maybe you unlock a harder one when you beat the game? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave it running for a bit so that I don't accidentally cut off my saying goodbye because apparently I do, I've been doing that and I feel bad about it. So I'm just gonna leave it going for a little bit longer. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I hope this was an interesting video even though, as I said, I don't feel like it works super well for this game. Oh well.